All right, guys, so this is a quick video I'm going to do. Um, I didn't bring my clippers or anything, uh, so I borrowed these from the custodian to... Uh, I'm here in the middle of both of these uh, buildings, right? And there is a loquat tree over there, uh, and I kept forgetting to uh, bring tools to cut it with so I could try and uh, clone that tree because that's a loquat tree. Uh, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to show you. Uh, hopefully, I can cut some of those down. And I'm going to take them home and then kind of experiment to see if I can uh, reproduce uh, and uh, duplicate that tree. So it looks like that little saw right there worked for that one. Uh, I'm going to try it with that one in just a bit, uh, see what happens. You guys can see this tree's not going anywhere. It's, uh, it's down there uh, and they really can't cut it permanently without opening this thing up. And I don't know if they can. So that one guys worked out pretty good. Uh, it's not ideal to not use the right tools for the job, uh, but uh, the custodians were, uh, uh, for I was fortunate enough for the custodians to lend me their tools. All right guys, so that's what I have right there. I'm gonna take those home. Uh, I'm probably gonna take all the leaves off and hopefully I'll be able to reproduce uh, the uh, loquat trees at my house and um, I wanna, I'm going to finish this project at home uh, because I don't have the tools for that either. Okay guys, so I'm at home and let me show you the setup uh, that I have. Of course, I have the low quad um, uh, tree uh, parts, right? And uh, right there is the uh, rooting powder that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the same process I used uh, for the uh, lemon, lemon tree um, experiment. And over here, I have some alcohol, uh, some little clippers, a knife, uh, and I think that's it there. And uh, of course, once I um, once I get them all in there, I'll show you guys a little bit step by step. But that covering right there uh, will be on top to keep the uh, the moisture uh, in the in the plants, uh, right? And uh, and then I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to cut them up and put them in uh, water. All right, guys, so this is where I'm at. Uh, as you guys can see down there, all the leaves, uh, the big leaves, I took them off. And I forgot to tell you, the alcohol is kind of to sterilize uh, the uh, tools, which is basically that, the, that uh, box cutter and the little clippers. And uh, I took almost everything off. I'm going to try all kinds of sizes uh, right there. What I'm going to do, uh, of course, I can't film it because uh, I only have the two hands, but I'm going to, like, scrape some of the end right there. Oh, well, let me pause it. Let me show you what, exactly what I'm going to do. Then I'll come back to you. Okay, guys. What I did was I uh, scraped some of the some of the covering there on top. I forget what it's called, uh, but um, uh, anyways, I um, I did that. Uh, for some reason, it's it's not coming in clear. But then what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in the uh, rooting powder. like that as you guys can see uh, I got some on there or kind of see and then I kind of pre dug a hole right there so the rooting powder doesn't like fall off if I try to push it right so that's going to be the process for all of them right and I'm going to push some of the soil around it and then I'm going to repeat that process with all of those pieces because I know I've told you guys that uh, if you want to be successful you got to try and do stuff uh, but also try as as many as you can, or as many as possible. That way, uh, your chances are increased that you're going to be successful. All right, guys. So this is what I got so far. Uh, well, this is all I'm going to get. Uh, these are all the little pieces I got from a uh, coker, uh, that low caught tree that I, I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Uh, I did use uh, some of that root uh, rooting powder uh, for these guys, and I'm going to follow the exact same process. Uh, I've never done this before, uh, so uh, the next time uh, that you guys see this video, it'll be uh, either some growth or nothing at all, uh, but it's not going to stop me from trying. Um, and also, I think it'd be entertaining for you guys to watch this. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put um, this bag over it, right? Of course, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to use both hands. I'm going to straighten those guys out, and then I'm going to put it on the top. Um, of course, I, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. Oh, yeah, I kind of did it. So I'm going to cover it and then I'll put it inside because, uh, you know, it's kind of a controlled environment in there and the temperature will be consistent. Uh, it won't get a whole lot of sunlight uh, because you don't want to put them in direct sunlight yet. 
uh, you want to make sure that it stays moist. Uh, but here in the background, uh, this place is kind of getting overgrown. As you guys can see, uh, we have some uh, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes and some other kind back there. And uh, this stuff is growing all over the place, right? Uh, as you guys can see there in the background. And uh, this right here on the ground is a gourd, right? It's kind of like watermelon kind of stuff. And uh, it's growing all over the place. Of course, we're going to let it roll uh, because it's cool to uh, for you guys to see it. Uh, I mean, we don't really use that stuff, but uh, it's also uh, kind of cool to uh, watch it grow. All right, guys. So before I let you guys go, uh, here in the backyard, uh, this is how easy gardening can be. Uh, this right here is Chile Piquín, or uh, some people call it um, Chile del Monte, right? It just pops up, right? Um, I have a question for you guys. Maybe you guys can answer it. How did this thing get here? I didn't plant it. Uh, of course, these peppers right here, this specific type, uh, is very spicy. It's not as tasteful as some of the ones that I've had before uh, in other places. Uh, they, um, they're they really good, though. Uh, they're good in, like, a salsa and... Uh, uh, a lot of you guys may not be able to handle it, but uh, it's got, you know, it, it's a it's got a unique taste uh, and a lot of people like them. Uh, if All right, guys, so here is another uh, Chile Piquín uh, plant um, that I put in a pot over the summer. Um, and I thought it wasn't going to make it, but uh, it's got a lot of peppers on it, as you guys can see. Uh, and uh, it's been quite, uh, it's been successful. Uh, I think I messed up initially. I had planted one before and I put it in direct sunlight. And these guys are not called Chile del Monte for, um, I mean, they're called that for a reason. It's because they uh, th they thrive in some shade. So direct sunlight uh, is not really good for these guys. Um, anyways, uh, just to follow up on that, uh, for myself mostly, but uh, so maybe you guys could view it also. All right, that's it for this video.